evening everyone okay here we are it's march 23rd it's about 10 p.m right now we have uh the mayor of miami beach has issued a stay at home order and goes into effect in two hours at midnight now the homeless shelters are not accepting anyone uh, I went to the Homeless Assistance Bureau this afternoon. They couldn't tell me where to go. They said they're not going to be able to help anybody find a place. And the stay-at-home order makes you subject to arrest if you are outdoors. Period. They are making exceptions for people who are going to essential businesses in order to go to work or to deliver food from the essential businesses or for average citizens to leave home to visit the essential businesses and go straight back indoors no one is allowed to be stationary anywhere you have to be in motion on your way to or from the essential business and from midnight to 5 30 a.m. nobody is allowed in the streets the essential businesses are have to be closed during those hours and uh, I don't know what's going to happen in two hours when I get uh, when midnight rolls around because I haven't got a place to go and I'm on the street and if I'm outdoors at all I'm uh, subject to arrest so this may be the last you hear from me for a while because I may wind up in jail like uh, that song by the band. Uh, I got. Uh, I just spent 16 days in the jailhouse for the crime of having no dough. Now I'm back out on the street for the crime of having nowhere to go. Only it's going to be reversed around. Because I'm going to be in jail for the crime of having no place to go. So, uh, <laughs> well, all this is obviously unconstitutional, but by the time uh, anyone can file suit, I don't know. Anyway, people for the last five days have been arrested for violating the curfew. None of them were taken to the county jail. I watched the police take several of them away. One of them is on video. Uh, it's in one of my videos that I shot, that I posted. And uh, these people seem to have disappeared into a black hole. Uh, most of the people I've taken to jail for violating the curfew have been homeless. And uh, no one can seem to find what happened to him because there's no booking records at the jail for any of them. Jail posts and mugshots on a website of all the people they've taken in. None of them are there. It's been about uh, five posts for arrest for Miami Beach for uh, each of the night, last few nights. And they've been for actual crimes such as burglary, uh, DUI, but uh, none of the people arrested for violating the curfew had their mugshots shown up. None of them were taken to the jail. Now, uh, the first couple of nights, it was 30 people a night. I don't know how many they got yesterday, but if it was the same number, more or less, you're looking at a hundred people over the past three days that have been kidnapped by the Miami Beach Police Department and disappeared 
It's getting bad, folks. Something's got to be done about this. Well, y'all have a good one. I hope most of you stay safe. Don't catch coronavirus. And uh, hopefully, I'll be talking to you soon. If they don't disappear, me too.